Today on the channel, let me tell you something, brother, as we got the brand new 40 Years of Hulkamania 3-pack Target exclusive box set. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite unboxing and review and today on the channel we got something special we got a brand new box set we got the Target exclusive 40 years of Hulkamania box set but for all your non-Target exclusive wrestling figure needs make sure you hit up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and today we celebrate 40 years of Hulkamania with a box set and I'm a sucker for a box set going back to the olden days when I was a little kid all the way up to now so I really do like what they're doing right here now I'm wondering if Target's gonna start giving us a box set maybe twice a year we did have the then now forever of course in 2023 now we got this one what could the next box sets be how about uh 35 years of the ultimate warrior or whatever it's been that would be a perfect box set i think let's put that in the uh, to-do list of uh, mattel but i do like the idea of these three packs of generational talent i guess so like i like hulk hogan around 40 years almost feels like a missed opportunity here where we did get more figures in that last box set 40 years of Hulkamania, four different looks of Hulk Hogan. I think that could have worked, but you know how it is. You go one way and you go the other, all that kind of stuff. But I think a four-pack for 40 years would have been really cool. You get one from the 80s, one from the 90s, one from the 2010s. And then the final one that Katie gave us for the recent version of Hulk Hogan could have been when he dressed as a pirate at WrestleMania. We could have got that in that box set. Would have been an all-timer there. And you guys do know I'm not a huge autograph collector, but boy, if you're into big-time autographs on your action figures, this would be one of the coolest Hulk Hogan figures to be uh, autographed up. I think that would be really, really cool. You just have to figure out how to do it because it's the same guy three times. Do you need three autographs on this? I don't know. Maybe two with the NWO? Not exactly sure, but a very cool pack. I love the bright, colorful aspect of it. Love the big window box. Three figures, very cool. Just an all-around good packaging design so far, from where I sit, at least, here at this table. But there it is. We got Hulk Still Rules on the end. Right in the middle, we got NWO Hulk Hogan. And then we got early Hulkamania over there. So as far as having three figures, I do like that we start early. There's kind of the middle, I guess. And there's towards the end of his WWF, WWE run, I guess. Uh, true effects up top there. And then we got all the beautiful color artwork there. The red and yellow running good with a little bit of black in there. WWE logo, the classic logo going on. Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Elite Collection. There's the three faces on the side. It almost kind of gives you a throwback to the old Jax three-pack. There was that Jax Hulk Hogan box set back in the day as well. Titan Tron style, or was that R3? I think it was R3 style, if I remember correctly. Elite on the side there. A little bit more of that artwork. Tons of jibber-jabber and UPC on the bottom. Then on the back, we got three glamour shots, and we got a big write-up. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with Hulkamania. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Oh, there it is. 40 years ago, when Hulk Hogan dropped the big leg on the Iron Sheik and pinned his shoulders to the mat, one, two, three, the most powerful force in the universe was born. Hulkamania ran wild all over the world until one day in WCW, the Hulkster turned his back on the fans as the new leader of the NWO, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. It was a betrayal that shocked the world because it was just too sweet. I see what you did there. It was all those Hulkamaniacs, though, who rescued Hogan from the darkness of the NWO and brought him back into the light of Hulkamania. They said their prayers, ate their vitamins, and reminded the Immortal One that Hulk still rules. Uh, so what you gonna do when, for over four decades, Hulkamania's been running wild on you? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really feel any different all of a sudden, but... 
Very, very interesting idea. I love the idea of the box set, though. And a good friend of the channel I was just talking to the other day, and I said, you know what? Your 40th birthday is coming up. You could say, be said that if somebody says, how old are you? I'm as old as Hulkamania. You could say that. You could say that. So if you're turning 40 this year, how old are you going to be? Well, I'm as old as Hulkamania. You can feel free to use that one if you want to. But let's get it out of the package here. I tell you what, I might buy a second version of this. I'm not a big man on card guy as far as elites go, but I dabble enough to be dangerous. Hulkamania background there looking good see you later goodbye i feel like i might need a, a min on card set of this one down the road we'll see what happens maybe there'll be a deal maybe there'll be a sale or maybe there won't be i don't know but there it is all that hulkamania action running wild right there all kinds of accessories all kinds of hands and we're just going to go through one by one and uh, talk about them and there's a lot to talk about here there is some new stuff there is some different stuff uh, there's some fun to be had. How about how about that? But we got twist ties all over the place. We got clips all over the place. Like a young Todd McFarlane sitting on the couch, as we do say. And I say there is a lot, and then I don't see a lot. So I don't know. I don't know. And now we got one on the hand here. All right, I'm gonna get it. Maybe I'm gonna get it. There we go. Just trying to find the twist ties with Kyle. Just riveting, riveting television. All right, there's one, there's two, there's some hands. Oh, we got a little of this action going. See you later. Goodbye. Watch out. Coming at you. Coming at you hot. And it looks like we got three different skin tones going on for the Hulkster. So Hulkster's all over the place, and that's a big part of this set, as we do know. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, and the Hulkster, I believe we saw this set for the first time at San Diego Comic-Con, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that was the case. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Rubber bands. Can we get them off the Hulkster? Oh my gosh. What a mess. What a rubber band mess. First you deal with the clip ties. Then you got rubber bands holding you down. That's just the way it's going to go. It's just the way it's going to go here today. But where do we start? I guess we should go in chronological order for this unboxing. I think that makes probably the most sense. So we're going to go to the old school Hulkster first and then work our way to the NWO and see what all the fuss is about. And all right, we got the Hulkster going. Let's see what's happening here. Let's start with some of these accessories first. We get extra hands. The Hulkster, he came to fight. He's got two fists of fury out of the package. We're here for that. Then we get the pointer finger hands. We get some of that going on. We get two of those. And then we get the two traditional gripping hands. So very cool in the hand department. All the hands you could want right there. But then we get the title belt with the Hulkster, and we're here for that. It looks like only one title belt with this one. It's the old-school WWF title. Uh, predates the Winged Eagle, of course. Winged Eagle will always be my favorite, but cool to get some of these different belts over the years as well. Some of these deeper-cut belts, at least to me, they're deeper-cut. Uh, I'm here for this. Heavyweight World Champion, Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, WWE logo on there. Looking good. Now, we do get two shirts for Hogan, which I found to be very interesting here. Now, this is like a real shirt. You pull this on and off. There's no Velcro. There's nothing like that. It's a traditional just plain shirt here. It's got Hulkamania on it, of course, things like whoa, that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. Future Kyle busted into this video here as something came up as I was doing the old glamour shots uh, for these figures, and I knew it would come up in the comments, so I said, I better cut in on this as one thing that I did not discuss in the review here is these t-shirts now the hulkamania shirt the hulk still rules shirt hollywood hulk hogan that's fine but these two shirts here man they're gonna drive you crazy and they're gonna make some people just go absolutely crazy no doubt about it but these ones are the ones without velcro of course we got the other shirts more traditional style with velcro however these are like real shirts you pull on you pull off much like the ultimate eddie guerrero fairly recently we had a shirt just like this however the difference with that is compared to this and i assumed this was going to be the same as that eddie the arms on eddie pulled off very simple up and down however the arms do not pull off on these elites so these are very very difficult to get off the figure they're going to make people frustrated out there like myself it took me a while to figure it out i sat there and played with it i tried to get over the head and the bad thing is it's such nice material you don't want to stretch it out you don't obviously want to rip it so a very dangerous t-shirt design here for these hulk hogan figures work great on figures where the arms are removable if they're not removable a dangerous piece of business at the end of the day so i wanted to call this one out now how i got these shirts off for me is I put them over the shoulder and straight down, like you were taking off a pair of pants is what you were doing. Instead of trying to go over the top, I took each strap down, pulled them down all the way off. That's how I removed them myself. Maybe there's a better way, maybe there's something I'm missing, but I could not for the life of me get them up over the arms and the head. 
had to pull them straight down. So that's my pro tip if there ever was a pro tip from me. But man, love these shirts. Absolutely love these shirts. Don't like the execution right here. I'll tell you that right off the bat. But these shirts do look so much better than the Velcro ones, in my personal opinion. But boy, talk about a challenge. So there's a little break in. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. But they give you a second shirt right here, which I do appreciate, is it's a traditional Hulkamania tearaway shirt. So very, very cool here. You get the ribs on the back or the cuts in the back looking nice. Hulkamania, run a wild, choose your own t-shirt adventure. And then some collectors obviously take the shirt you're not using, find an old Hulk Hogan figure, and you can plop this on there, get some use out of this if you want to. So it is truly choose your own shirt adventure at the end of the day. But now we got the Hulkster here, and he's looking good with this tan. He's got this beautiful, beautiful tan on the Hulkster here. Really, really do like this one, and it really pops against the blue boots and the blue trunks. Really makes the tan pop a little bit more. Uh, you got kind of those burgundy, pinkish, almost pinkish red uh, knee pads going on here. Of course, talked about the shirt. You got the white wrist tape looking really nice as well, uh, but a very, very good looking Hulkster. I just love that tan against that blue. That is a heck of a look if you ask me. Uh, I do like the head sculpt on this one. A brand new head sculpt. Got to use this head all day long. Now the Hulkster, he's got a little bald spot showing at the top, like a young Arn Anderson Galoob figure. Shout out to Arn Anderson. Arn, I'm coming for you in July. I'll be seeing Arn in July at the Hall of Fame. We're going to finally talk. Him and Arn Anderson and me. Shout out to the Enforcer. Can't wait to meet him. Uh, but we're going to have, uh, we got a little Arnie Anderson going on over there. Of course, still got that long blonde hair, but the baldness starting to get in. Male pattern baldness, it'll get you. And it affects a lot of people. Thankfully here, no baldness yet. Getting a little gray though, a little bit of gray coming in here. I can't wait for the day that I just have the long white gray hair. It'll be quite the day at the office, of course. But the Hulkster looking good. Now he's got the Hulkster bandana around the head. And then there's that classic like promo or whatever. He's got the piece of it in his mouth. That's what this is depicting here. Absolutely do love that. I love how that looks. I think it looks really, really cool. It is kind of strange how the bandana just kind of ends there on the side of the head, though. It feels like it needs to wrap around. Like, what's holding it there? Uh, that is a little bit strange. But I really do like the new head sculpt on this. Love the tan. Love the big arms. The big brooding Hulkster. He's just a big, big dude here at this time. He's ready to take on the world. There's no doubt about it. Just very, very good. And, of course, articulation. I guess we'll run through it with this Hulkster. Arms go all the way around. Bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows, hits continue to be played. Hands back, forth, side to side, hands removable. No cupping hand on this one. You don't get any of those this time. You do get the ab crunch, side to side at the waist, head removable, back, forth, side to side, of course. Big old Hulkster splits if you do need them. Leg does go up for the big boot. You got the thigh cut. Double jointed knees, are they pinless? Oh yeah, pinless knees, looking good. Boot cut, ankles a little side to side, a little up and down. That's all she does right. But does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. What do you know? The Hulkster fits perfectly right there on the stand. A very, very good Hulk Hogan. Uh, early favorite in this three-pack for me. It's the only one we've done, so of course it's going to be early favorite. But at the end, we're going to list some of my favorites. But now we're going to turn our attention over to NWO. And this is where things get real interesting over here. Uh, we got the Hulkster in NWO, and we've seen the Hulkster in his NWO gear before. We saw an Ultimate Edition in the past that's being re-released, so we'll be staying tuned for that. And then we got a, what was it, a WrestleMania Elite fairly recently. But this Hulkster, man, he's a different level of tan, and the Hulkster had some wild tans back in this time frame. It does look a little bit strange to me. I mean, it really almost looks like that wild bodybuilder tan. When you go to a bodybuilder competition and they got that wild tanner going on, that's how this Hulkster looks right here. Uh, but it does look good. It's definitely a different tan, and we'll do comparisons with these figures at the end. we got a ton of stuff to compare, so stay tuned for that. But we do get Hollywood Hogan, NWO style. Uh, a figure that we get a few times from Mattel, like I said, Ultimates, Elites, but it feels like we don't get as much NWO stuff as we do regular Hulkamania stuff. Maybe that's just me assuming. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it definitely feels that way to me. But the Hulkster looking good. Of course, he's got the Hollywood bandana going on in his head. It is removable. He's got the glasses, but this time silver framed glasses with the black uh, lenses in there, so a little bit different. Now we do, of course, got a little rubber band holding all that down. I absolutely hate that. I hate having to do that, but uh, it seems that's the way it goes. That's what we got to do here to keep those staying on very nice. So we do have that. He's got the long blonde hair going on, of course, bald on the top. I, obviously, we should assume that, uh, but a very interesting look. Uh, but the tan is just striking on this one. It almost reminds me of the Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition fairly recently where that tan is just such a next level tan. 
uh, just wild on this one right here. Now, articulation can be the same as the last one, so we don't need to really go through that. Got all the lightning, all that stuff going on on his tights. You got Hollywood down there. Always love the black boots with the blue flames and the Hollywood uh, picture of him there in the NWO as well. Two black knee pads going on. Now, he's got the soft goods cut up t-shirt here. Looking good. Hollywood rules. Not the uh, brightest graphics here. They look a little bit uh, washed out a little bit in the graphics department. So we have seen better from Mattel, but that is interesting to have that. Now, there is a big rubber band around the waist, which... I appreciate they did that for us, but the bad thing that this means is I have a feeling this shirt will start slowly curling at the bottom, and eventually, you know, in a couple of years, this will be all curled up halfway over his stomach. I have a feeling. So you might want to leave that rubber band in. We'll see. I don't know, but uh, that is my guess of what's going to go on right there. So take note of that, if you will. Now, he's got two gripping hands out of the package here, and we do get the two sweet hands here. So you can choose your own adventure. I feel like you got to give him at least one two sweet hand. He's got to be throwing it up, doing it to the NWO somewhere along the way there. He's got the biker workout gloves going on as well here. And of course, he will fit on a ringside collectible stand, I would imagine. Use discount code Kyle once again. What do you know? Fits perfectly. The Hulkamania running wild in the NWO today here on the channel. So Hulk Hogan, WCW version here. But now we got to finish off this three pack and we're going to finish it off with the late in the game uh, WWE return Hulk Hogan. Hulkamania rides one last time, brother. And that's what we got here. Now we got a lot of similarities. Now we got two hands here to do that cupping hand, you know, give one of those. We talked about that. We also get two gripping hands. And then once again, two fists of fury right out of the package with the Hulkster. So we do always appreciate that. Now we do got twist ties once again, or I should say rubber bands holding everything down. Once again, pull that off right there. As we see, there it goes. And we got the bandana. It does say Hulk still rules. And whenever I see the later Hulk still rules, kind of the graphic for that, I always think of that DVD box set that was released way back in the day. Uh, but looking good. Hulk still rules. I do like that. Now, we got these boas. Have to assume all reuse, but you get the yellow and red boas. We've seen these a few different times, of course, in the line. Makes sense to get as much use as you can out of them. I have no problem with that at all. Then we get the Hollywood belt, the weight belt around the waist. Got to have that, of course, for the Hulkster. And then very similar to this first one here, we get the Hulk still rules shirt. This is like a real shirt. You got to pull it off the figure, of course. But then you get the traditional tear away, grip away shirt over here. So you, once again, you choose your own Hulk Hogan shirt adventure. How do you prefer it? You guys get to choose it that way. Then we get the very cool long tights. I loved it when the Hulkster this time of his career went to these bright red and yellow tights. I really did like it. I felt they really did pop, especially against that beautiful hot, hot dog tan from Hulk Hogan. Looking really good here. Two red knee pads. Then you get the cool, get the two boots down here, of course, in yellow with the red. Got the flames on there saying Hogan. Just an all-around good-looking figure. Now, the head sculpt on this one, a little bit older Hulk Hogan. Uh, crazy how white the hair is against that tan. Of course, got the 5 o'clock shadow underneath with the painted-on yellow uh, Fu Manchu going there. Looking really on brand for the Hulkster. Looking really, really good, though. I really do like this. I think this is a brand-new head sculpt for the Hulkster as well. So, I do appreciate that. Just a very good Hulk Hogan, man. And quite the time to be alive if you're a Hulk Hogan fan right now. A lot of Hulk Hogan figures coming. Articulation can be the same as all three of these, of course. And he will fit on a ringside stand, I'm sure. Oh, come on. Come on, Hulkster. Don't let us down. He's not going to fit. Is it the other shoe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's getting dangerous. Like a young dark winged duck, let's get dangerous. There it is. But he does fit on there. So now, I was curious to see the tonal colors of the tans here. And it looks like we got three different tan colors going on. These two are pretty close, but the NWO is the tannest. Then the last uh, run of Hulkamania is the next level tan. And then you get a nice one. And I think out of all the Hulk Hogan tans, I think this is the one that looks the best to my eye. I guess uh, to each your own on that kind of a thing there. But let's do some comparisons with these figures. How about let's bring out some friends now. Here's another version of early Hulkamania from the then now forever Target box set we got not too long ago. So you can kind of see very similar style figures here. Tan pretty close, pretty close in the tan department between these two for those keeping track at home. How about this one here? Of course, I love this figure, uh, but this one is very similar. Geez, right there, right in front of my face. Very similar to this one, but just a little bit of a different take about the same time period. So we do enjoy that uh, as a comparison. Hulk Hogan, of course, NWO style. There is the original one, or I guess this is the Elite one. Yes, that is the WrestleMania Elite. A very good looking figure, but missing that skin tone color. That's a big miss on that one. I can see a lot of people maybe getting an extra one of these, maybe moving some of this stuff over, making it a little bit more correct. 
You could do that if you wanted to. Of course, we do have the Ultimate, and the rumors are the Ultimate will be updated with the new pinless joints, and of course, that beautiful hot dog tan, so we'll have to pick that up as well. So we do have that. And then possibly one of the greatest toy lines ever is the Storm Wrestling figures. Love the Storm Wrestling figures. We did get the Hulkster in that. Not quite tan enough on this one, though, compared to these. But boy, is it a good-looking figure. That whole line of Hulk Hogan figures are absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend those. But speaking of big uh, tans, how about the Ultimate Warrior? Got to bring the Warrior in, of course, from 1991. Another guy that's spending some time in the tanning bed looking extra good is the, the Ultimate Warrior. And let's compare him and the Hulkster. Boy, these two really tanning it up, man. Two tanned out brothers ready to go to the tanning sal salon. They're ready to take it to the limits, no doubt about it. But man, a murderer's row of Hulk Hogan, a very fun set to celebrate 40 years of Hulkamania. Absolutely wild he's been around for 40 years. I mean, he hasn't wrestled all those years, but Hulkamania, Hulkamania runs wild if he's wrestling or not, as he does down his beat shop and karaoke. Karaoke is where he runs wild these days, I think. But man, a fun set, and like I said, one I might get a second set of just to have a mid-on-card set of this. That's how cool this box set is. Just a very fun set. Hitting Target stores right now as uh, this video is releasing. So if you're looking at this, go to Target Online. Go to your Target store. Should be able to pick this up within the next couple of weeks fairly easily, I would imagine. We'll see what happens there. But 40 years of Hulkamania celebrated here at the table today. What are your thoughts on this set? Is this a pickup set for you? A pass set? or a must-have set. Let me know your thoughts on the three figures here. What do you think about the fourth version? Uh, we could have had four figures in here with the pirate Hulk Hogan. Wouldn't that have been an all-timer? People would have said, man, all these cool Hulksters, and you put a pirate one in there? What are you doing? But I would love to see that pirate Hulk Hogan. Maybe a build-a-figure in the WrestleMania Elite line one of these days. We'll see what happens. I think that'd be a cool build-a-figure. But you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this set right here. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, on Patreon. Early access to both YouTube channel videos, uh, bonus content, just all over the place on the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at prestige.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for 40 years of Hulkamania, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.